Okay, it is time for the Fibonacci expansion recording, and we are still on the third chapter of our of our adventure here. And the Fibonacci retracement tool, it is mainly used in uh, identifying better places to get into a trend. I mean, to buy dips or to sell spikes. This tool, this expansion tool, helps traders to identify possible targets, project future price movements. And if you are trading with Elliott Wave th uh, Theory, an expansion tool it is a must. There is because, for example, if you are looking, if you are looking at a structure that it is an impulse, then in an impulse, according to the Elliott Wave, wave uh, Theory, in an impulse at least one wave needs to be extended, and one wave to be extended means it has to be at least 161.8 percent out of the previous wave. And how to, cal how to calculate this 161.8 uh, expansion, and then the only way to be is by using the expansion tool. So, let's suppose this is a one hour chart, the euro dollar one hour chart, and let's suppose you are having, uh, you are having in here, I don't know, you are trying to, um, to look for a 161 extension out of this move in here. So what you should do, you should first identify the move with, uh, with a horizontal line, let's put in here a horizontal line, something like this. And let's say that you, you consider that this move in here being actually the uh, one wave, then the second wave, then the third wave, then you're looking for a fourth wave, and you're looking for one to be extended. And if you want, if you want to look for the next move to be extended, there is 161.8 out of the previous move, then you should just click Insert and look for the Fibonacci and choose the Expansion. And you should click and drag, okay, not only click on the MetaTrader, but click and drag. So click and drag from this moment like this, to the highs and the third one should be to the maximum low in here and let's change the colors a little bit because this is red and the feeble levels let's make them black and this is this is your expansion tool and let's zoom out a little bit in order to see what we've done in here so you are looking for an extension or expansion to the upside that should go into the 61.8% 161.8 from the previous wave then this length should be something like like this and you can do this just um, just um, applying this this tool on the previous high and the previous low and this is the length of the wave and the target and if you want to look at at, uh, at the number you should just take the arrows tab from here, choose the left price label or the right price, price label like this and if you put, there you go, let's change the color of course because this is white, let's make it red, there you go, you have the 132.95 would be approximately the, the 161.8 extension. Now, if you want to modify the levels you can right click select the select the expansion properties right click you can either select the expansion properties by double clicking on it like this or you can just right click whenever you like on the chart right click and under the objects list you will have all the objects that are on your chart and see the arrow that we've just placed the trend line this is the expansion and you may select the expansion from here like this and either you click edit from here and you edit it from here, or if you close this one, uh, this window, then the expansion is already being already selected, writing on it, and expansion properties, and you should add a level. The most used levels in, uh, in using the expansion tool in Fibonacci sequence are 100%, 161.8%, 261.8%, 461.8% and 461.8%. So let's add them. You have in here 61.8100, 100, 161.8 is already in here. Then let's add 2.618. So there is the 261.8% expansion. Then add another level. 
let's add um, 4.618 expansion so that is 461.8 percent add and then close it and if you look in here the levels are being added why this why these levels are are important in uh, in, uh, in using the expansion because of the Elliott waves theory at least one wave needs to be extended and the minimum extension is 161.8 but if you are looking for a, for a value way higher uh, than, or a leg um, that should accelerate to the upside more powerful then you should look for the 261 or even 461 extension in case of, in case of fifth wave, wave extensions these are extremely powerful and they often go above 261.8 um, regardless on regardless on the on the time frame that you are look that you are that you are using and you are applying the extension they actually look uh, look the same it is the same uh, the same way you are you are going to to use it so one way is to look for an impulsive move to the upside and the other way is to look for corrections for example let me delete this if you want to delete everything that's on your chart at any one time, just right-click on the chart, then Objects List, click on one on one object from your object list, then uh, simultaneously click Control A on your on your keyboard, and then Delete, and everything it is being deleted, and your chart starts to uh, to look like this. Now let's zoom a little bit in, and let's try to find a situation where the expansion tool can be used in order to, uh, to uh, look for a correction for example for example let's go in here uh, like this back for example when price coming when price coming to let me see in here for example price coming from the upside in here okay so price coming from the upside that makes something like an ABC and another leg to the downside like this and you might say okay this might be a correction something like this is ABC one way and then I'm looking for another move that should go at least the height of this move in here now if there is the case you might you might want to measure this move and to measure this move and look for the 100% expansion so just click insert Fibonacci expansion and from the lows in here click and drag to the highs select it put it at the exact low and there you go your target should be from this moment on 100% so 100% when price reaches 100% you know expansion you know that you actually um, have two equal legs and if you are looking for a correction for example you are a bear on this move in here and you are looking still for a correction to be made A, B so even if you are, for, if you are a bear you still buy this move in order for the 100% um, expansion to be, uh, to be hit now that's pretty much it for the Fibonacci for the Fibonacci tools the retracement and expansion they are extremely simple to use but they are extremely powerful you have to remember that the 61.8 retracement it is the being go called also the golden ratio it is uh, it is to be found all over the all over all over the places uh, from trading uh, to uh, i don't know um, elements in nature and so on and so forth so uh, it is extremely valuable in trading as a book recommendation also for this extension tool is the same book that I had that I presented on, on the previous recording The Fibonacci Analysis by Constance Brown a great book with uh, new ways to use the, to use the, the Fibonacci now what, I did, <coughs> what I did in this chapter I presented you how to use them let's say I, uh, I started your curiosity but for a more in that uh, in that look you should do your own uh, your own research and try to see the beauty of this of this tool now next chapter on the fourth chapter we're going to go 
on uh, approximating on taking a more inside look to, uh, to trading. We're going to take a look at ba basic patterns in technical analysis, something like double tops and double bottoms, how do they look, the measured move, head and shoulders, rising wedges, typical trend line. You will be surprised to know that many people fail how to trade on how to, to, uh, to draw a simple trend, uh, trend line. We we'll see a triangles, contracting triangles, expanding triangles, and that would be on the fourth chapter. Until then, stay safe on the markets, have a great day.